Well, right now I'd like to welcome a couple gentlemen from the Lutheran Church of the Cross, which is just up the road off El Toro. And first I'd like to welcome Bill Perry. You are a council member with the church, right? That's, nice that's to correct. Meet you, sir. Nice and you. across the way there, a uh, little bit uh, hard to shake your hand, Pastor Leland Lance. That's Did right. I pronounce that right? Yes. <clears throat> Great to have you both on today. First of all, uh, tell us a bit of the background of the Lutheran Church of the Cross. Lutheran Church of the Cross was one of the original churches that Cortesi uh, donated the land for our church uh, 53 years ago. Wow. I guess it's been now. Yeah. Uh, 1965. And so, um, yeah, we've been part of this community from its inception, really. So, That's incredible. Yes. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yep. Very nice. Now, you're part of the larger Lutheran Church as a whole, am I right? Yes. Uh, we're part of Lutheran Congregations and Mission for Christ. Okay. LCMC. Okay. Yep. And is that different than, uh, you know, I was looking up these, these, uh, these oh. gentlemen online in the church, and sometimes it'll just say Lutheran Church, sometimes Lutheran Church of the Cross. Is it all the same? Are they different kind they're, of? They're mostly the same, but okay. a little bit different, uh, you know where we came from. Okay. Yeah. And man, you've been here a long time. Yeah. Well, not these two gentlemen, but <laughs> in general, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So when that church was built, there was a, a little bit of, of uh, well, leisure world, as it was called back then, and just yeah. pastures all the way around back yeah. then. Yeah. Well, great to have you gentlemen on. And the reason that they're here today, uh, besides uh, the church itself and the good work that they do, is you have had this ongoing free food program and you've been doing this for a while. So Bill, tell us about this. Well, we, <clears throat> we started the program um, in January and uh, we first started evaluating it last year where mm -hmm. it was, uh, the program is done nationwide uh, by various organizations like Lutheran Church of the Cross and uh, through, in this case, South County Outreach. Yeah. And so, they are um, funding and, and bringing food to a Costa Mesa uh, distribution. And we, went and we looked at it several times and we saw a great model to help people. And uh, at the time when they were doing it, they were doing about 120 a week, 120 clients. And uh, we've had three distributions now at about 100 each. The first wow. one was a little low, 77, but then the last two have been over 100. That's incredible. It is. And, and those people are, are very grateful as they leave. They're saying, thank you so much. It's, it's a big help to their budget and uh, a lot of smiles. So pastor, what is some of the food they get? They get like a box of just fruits, vegetables, pasta, that sort of thing? Yeah, the, the food box, uh, which is today, right? Yeah, there's yeah. another program called the food box. Yeah, um, the food box is a box that's about so big, it's about 35 pounds of food, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so that's non-perishable types of okay. foods. And so that you do have to qualify for. Okay. You, you have to <clears throat> declare that your income is less. That's the program that, what I'm remembering, that's been going on yes. for a while. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And so we picked that up uh, fairly recently. Okay. And have a pretty good following. How many do we have that picked that up? But uh, we're delivering about 90 boxes a month. Wow. Yeah. And so so this one coming up on Friday is a separate program. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the one coming up on Friday is, is called the Senior Grocery Program. And it has a wide array of mm -hmm. food available, uh, starting with frozen meat, uh, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, and then there'll be some dairy and some bread. Wow. And then last time we had like 40 dozen eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so. And, and we never are fully sure of what we're going to get, but we're going to get the, the spectrum of nutrition yeah. so that people can, you know, they'll be fed. That's really nice. And yeah. so the people can um, come down there. You do this twice a month, and this one's coming up, obviously, this Friday. We have it on the screen. Right. For, um, it's, uh, you do it out of the social hall from 10 until 11. Yes. Now, on this, do people have to pre-register or just show up? No, they just, we recommend they come in between, well, about 9.30 and they will sign in mm -hmm. and they will get a number and it's paired with another number that goes in uh, like a, a bingo basket okay and so when it comes time to uh, start grocery selection because because while this is going on while they're registering there's a whole group of uh, 20 plus volunteers that are setting up 
the distribution on tables. Mm -hmm. um, and so they put their number in, and when we're ready to start, then we'll draw the first number. Okay. And so coming at 6 a.m. isn't helpful because yeah. the first one isn't necessarily the first one there. Okay. And then they, they're randomly drawn, and they go through. Uh, we recommend they bring grocery bags because okay. they'll fill them up. And they're allowed to get just so much, like one from this group, one from that group, that sort of thing. So, so it gets distributed <clears throat> Exactly, evenly. exactly. Okay. There's usually uh, not enough meat for everybody to take more than one, but sometimes there's more. We had these big turkeys last week. Wow. <laughs> or last time. And it was just, you know, I don't know how they uh, got them home, but <laughs> it was funny seeing them there. But yeah, there's uh, the complete array of nutrition for them. So Pastor... Uh uh, why are you doing this program? What is, what is the main uh, point? Now, we know the other program there's a qualification for, but this is something different. How did this sure. come about? Well, it just came about because we wanted to make a difference in the community and help out the community that are going through needs mm -hmm. in their lives. And that's part of what we're called to do as a church. And so we found out that we could do this and we can just be a conduit. Uh, we didn't have to do anything to get the food besides just sign up for the program. Yeah but we're kind of the hands and feet to help get it from point A to point B. Working with South County Outreach, yes. which is a wonderful organization. Um, second second yeah. Harvest, Yeah, food bank. Now, uh, as far as people volunteering, uh, do you have enough people that are part of your congregation already, or do you look for uh, other people to come in and help or donate food? Uh, no food donations. No food. The okay. food is... Um, very carefully handled by Second Harvest. Okay, by Second Harvest. And, okay. and so only their food that they've uh, take that what they do is they take donations from grocery stores and restaurants and okay. distributors. There's even some gleaning that goes mm -hmm. on, and then when it comes time, uh, we place our order and they package it up on pallets and ship it out on uh, trucks. Fantastic. Yeah, it, it's it's cool. Well, this is going on again this Friday, but. Uh, there's more going on twice a month. As you can see this Friday, 10 until 11, they're up El Toro Road. And if you go on their website, you see I have it on the bottom there, lcotc.org, you can find out uh, the, the, on the calendar when they're coming up next. So it's a couple times a month. As I said, it's the 16th uh, this month. And then uh, an example in April, it's the 13th and the 27th. Uh, but what a great program. And you just need to come by you don't need to qualify for this. The only qualification that we ask for is that they be 60 years or older. Okay. And then when they go through to select their grocery, they'll be selecting for their household. They may have children in the household, grandchildren, or, or middle-agers, and, and then there may be other seniors. And so yeah. they'll be drawing food for their household. All right, very good. Gentlemen, great work that you're doing. Thank you for coming on. I'm sure we'll have you uh, back on again if you have some. I know you have other events that go on in there. Sure. So uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, you really help out the community and for 53 years, right? Wow, yeah. that's impressive. All right, we're, uh, we're going to uh, take you to a segment uh, wrap-up of the health and wellness fair that went on last week. Uh, very quickly, as I said earlier, expect rain on and off this week. It's going to be one of those time kind of things where you really don't know how much rain we'll get, but all told, looks like we're going to get some sort of rain every day. Uh, today, it looks like later on this evening, so please keep that in mind. All right, we're going to take you to a tape, and then we'll see you back. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Thank you.